Welcome to a quick introduction of Tall Order Point of Sale, a point of sale based on speed and efficiency. We're going to have a basic look at the functionality and the front end side of the point of sale. As you can see, it looks like a conventional point of sale, nice and easy to use and very customizable to your liking. You can have individual shifts for your users and management for all these users. As you can see, it's nice and easy to swap over to different users. Each user has a four digit pin for easy access or can access the point of sale via biometrics or NFC cards. A manager can also access all of these staff members by selecting the logo and having an overview of all the staff members with active shifts. As you can see, an active shift is indicated by the red asterisk. Once the user is selected, the user can then go and add or start a table. Please bear in mind that what I'm showing you currently is for hospitality setup. Once you've selected your items, the option to enter the table name, which can either be text or a number, and then a guest count can be entered. Also, a nice quick functionality for takeaway is allowed at the bottom. Once your table name and guest count is selected, your items are added, you can then place the order, which will either print to a digital solution which we provide called SlipApp or the kitchen printer. Once the order is placed, you then have the option to print your pro forma, a quick cash out if needed, and the checkout option. Once the checkout option is selected, you will see that we have a variety of payment methods. You can select then the specific payment method you'd like to use to transact or close off or check out this transaction. You can set a custom total amount for gratuity purposes. You can select the amount of gratuity and you can complete the checkout. Once your checkout is complete, you'll see that you have the option to view your closed tabs, voided tabs, or reopen those tabs if need be. Once you're done with your shift, each individual user can close down their shift or end their shift. You'll see it's a nice and quick process. You enter your total cash. Next, you'll enter your total account, card, snap scan, or other payment methods. Once you're happy with your tally, submit and compare the variances. Once you say accept, the shift has ended and you may start a new shift. Thank you for joining us on this quick tutorial of Total to Point of Sale. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more quick introductive sessions.